And if I may first congratulate you and uh, Richie for this labor of love, because I think that's the only thing that we can call it. The research, the collation of all this rich material and actually producing these two volumes that will forever keep a special place on bookshelves, I hope not just in Malaysia and not just across the Commonwealth, but elsewhere in the world too. Um, a testimony to the life and the work of this amazing man, Tan Sri Dato Sri, Dr. Yusofi Abdul Qadir. And why have I been invited to provide a few words? I think it's because of the British connection. After all, he was a member of Gray's Inn. He went to the UK to study. And the title of these books has been drawn from references in the British press to him, not least the Times of London, and they were the ones who coined the phrase the legal lion of the Commonwealth. And Malaysians, I hope, should be, if they don't know him already, and I'll talk a bit more about the future generation, should be so incredibly proud of this Malaysian, because his legacy isn't just for this country. His legacy is not just about being the legal line of the Commonwealth, but in terms of his judgments, it is a legacy for the international legal community. And there are not many Malaysians or people of any country who genuinely have an impact, not just in their own country, but beyond their shores and hold such high regard and respect from others elsewhere. Of course, being the British High Commissioner, I'd like to say he is a great example of the best of British education. As a King's Scholar, he graduated with a first class honours from the University of London. In the 1940s, he was, as I said, presented to King George VI and Queen Mary at Buckingham Palace. And he was admitted to Gray's Inn in 1949. He was the first Malayan to be given the keys to the City of London in 1950. And I can assure you not everyone is given the keys to the City of London. He must have stood out. When we talk about charisma and people who can project and people who make a mark and people who can make an impact, as this young man in 1950, he must have been quite remarkable.